definitely my height being six foot three and female um, you get many comments on your height you can't hide away in tall groups like I want to hide away um, you look over the shelves in shopping centers and yeah um, yeah definitely my height so if I got a doll off every time someone asked me if I played basketball I would be a rich person I think a lot of people feel threatened or they feel like you're you're in control you're not small and soft and dainty you're very self-conscious when your height's mentioned because I, I don't see myself as tall until someone says oh my god you're tall and they're like oh I'm tall my passion's kids so I ran I helped run a play group for eight years and then after that I needed something to work with kids so I got the blue card and I started going to the kindergartens daycare centers neighborhood center and paint rocks with kids we do a lot of pours which is um, where you put a whole pile of colours into a cup and it just gets the finger coordinations with the kids so that they pull and then you turn it turns something that's plain into something really pretty. Um, so it's not just for the kids though because the mums will see it and they'll be like wow you know can I have a go. It just brings the community together because you can go there anywhere like we'll just set up an event here at the neighbourhood centre. It doesn't matter what age you are, um, what talent you have, whether you're old, young, tall, short, anyone can paint rocks. I'm not artistic and I can paint rocks so anyone can paint rocks. So three years ago we created Fairy Way. We wanted a place in Deception Bay. Well, we wanted something to put Deception Bay on the map because everyone's Depression Bay and Deception Bay is not good. So, and, and it's free. So we started putting little fairy doors on the trees down there. Um, and that was the main place where we would hide rocks. So whenever someone wanted to find rocks, they knew to go down there. And then it grew. Um, and we've got big Fairy Way signs done by the council. And, and um, yeah, it's, it's huge. I think it's a magical place for the kids and the elderly and they can just look at all the little trinkets that are down there and people can contribute to make it big so it makes it fairy way part of theirs because parts you know things that they've created are down there so it gets looked after it's very special walking along and finding rocks and then people can rehide them and that gives them the magic that they're hiding something for someone and then someone else will find the rocks it's a lot of fun i think that like people every rock is is unique and different for the young, for parents, everyone loves doing it. So yeah, it brings the community together.